Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Good morning. Very early, uh, Thursday, 6, 10 a.m. I'm over in New York. Uh, just want to say, send some prayers out to Florida. Should have been a little crazy. Uh, my mother went down there like a fool to Tampa. Uh, just going, they got a timeshare and go down there with her sisters. My one aunt lives down there. But uh, it just ended up being bad time. So she's down there. My mother-in-law lives in uh, in Naples. And, uh, yeah, so been a rough night. I ain't sleep much. Still waiting to hear from them. But uh, we got WNBA Finals. Um, links at my New York Liberty. Uh, it's going to be a good game, a battle. The... Uh, the Lynx took the series, and they won the uh, Commissioner's Cup, or whatever it was called, right? Something like that. Um, I think that's fuel for the fire, though. New York's well-rested. Took care of them, the f- two-time defending champs, like it was nothing. And uh, lost one game, made some adjustments. Just like I said, I called that game perfect, that adjustment. Said Stewie's gonna bring up the ball. She's gonna go over on her assists. I said uh, uh, Sabrina's gonna hit five threes. I was like Mike that day. You gotta be like Mike. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. It'll be a battle. Uh, I think New York could take it, but it could go either way. Um, key players, all of them. <laughs> uh, John Quill Jones got to step up. She got to at least score 14 uh, and get at least 10 boards, or it's going to be a problem. Phoebish is going to is gonna do good. Uh, she's a guard, tall, lengthy. Uh, moved her in the starting lineup in these playoffs. She's been doing well. Uh, Sabrina is going to do what she does, you know, but the Minnesota got a good team too. I'm betting on them all year. But, uh, lines opened up at plus five and a half, over on the 159 and a half. And uh, links are the big dogs. I don't think it's that big, though. Uh, yeah, I don't think that number is way too high. 195, it opened that and it went up. It's plus 220, 222, uh, plus six. Is the spread and uh, plus six and a half, uh, and the total went up one sixty and a half. You can get it right now. Um, yeah, uh, Liberty's definitely taking game one. I can tell you that they uh, they're rested. You know, Lynx just went to a game five playing against a tough team, uh, Connecticut. Physical. Uh, yeah, I got some play, bro. Let's get into that. All right, so first up, I went with our Collier rebounds and assists over 12 and a half. Uh, I feel like it's a sweet spot. Minus 125, Jerk uh, Fandle. Open at 13 and a half, brought it down. They got her rebounds at nine and a half, which she's cleared. She's been clearing. Uh, rebounds and assists, you see, she's cleared this. Last five games, averaging 15. Head to head. It's uh, four times they played this year. First four, she's cleared it three out of four. One of these over here is the Commissioner's Cup. I don't remember which one. But um, playing plenty of minutes, kind of just like now. She succeeded 12 and a half rebounds and assists, five straight games, averaging 15. So uh, there's many ways you can go with her. Uh, they got her points line 
at 20 and a half. We just played her points and rebounds. Uh, head to head, though, she's been going under it. Last five, that's just her points. Last five, she's cleared this three out of the last five. I mean, she turned it up when she had to. And plays of her caliber are going to do that. So they're going to do whatever they have to do to win. Um, if I break it down, you can see the Atlanta games, uh, Phoenix games, rather. All those two games were bad, but... Uh, They only play, what was it? Oh, it was best out of three with Phoenix. That's right. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Sleep deprived. Why was that like that? She scored that much on Phoenix? Wow, she went off. I didn't even realize that. 42, I thought I was on PRA. 38, 20, 25 on Connecticut the game before. You need to see, she is beasting them. They're lucky that she had two bad games. But, uh, yeah, points line's at 21 and a half. You can get it at 20 and a half or 19 and a half or minus 150 if you spend them more money. Uh, rebound, she's been going over as well. They got that at nine and a half. You could play her double double. Her double double is like was minus one twenty or one forty. That means uh well it means either ten rebounds and, and, and ten points or ten uh assists and ten points or ten rebounds, ten assists. It's gotta be ten of two. Ten and ten. So she gets 10 rebounds and 10 points and doesn't get to 20 something points. Or you can play points and rebounds. But I really think the best one is rebounds and assists. So they got her points on, like I said, 21 and a half. They got her rebounds, sorry, at nine and a half. And her assists at three and a half. You add them together, it's 13. So rebounds and assists, they got a 12 and a half right now. They normally don't have that. They normally add one or two on to them. So I just feel like it's a good spot. Uh, played her assist last game, three and a half. She went over it. That's why you got to subscribe because I threw that in the community. I threw three, other, three plays all together late that day. Um, they all cashed. Made up for the two plays I uh, missed earlier. I didn't know they missed. It was all the same game, but I just did a little more research. But, yeah, uh, it's going to be a good game. And she's going to get boards. I feel like Minnesota's going to have a little tired legs in that second half. They only had one day off. They just had a series, best out of five. Went to game five. Liberty is resting. Liberty's at home. They're going to have energy. They're going to be running that court. And I think with that, by the time that second half, uh, they're going to have a lot of short shots. Uh, Minnesota, and a lot more rebounds. Um, and she's going to go over this. Uh, if she's scoring a lot, same thing that just happened in game five. They're going to start, you know, they're going to switch it up and start blitzing her, double teaming her. You know, uh, throwing different looks at her, and she's just going to dish it out. And besides that, even if they didn't do that, Minnesota is the most assist in the league. They assist on, like, 60% of their baskets. Uh, so they sharing the ball anyway. Uh, so if you want to try a plus money play, you could try a assist at three and a half. But this is the best bet. Kali at nine and a half, uh, 12 and a half rebounds and assists. Let's get it. All right, so uh, Sabrina, uh, three point assassin, over two and a half, minus one and 25 handle. Multiple books, guys and ladies. Um, DraftKings got it up to 140. I know it's not much of a difference, but, you know, certain books, 
throughout the course of our, you know, the year, think about the difference you save. Uh, and it sucks, you know, because there's certain books that, I, like in New York, I can't have, and vice versa, you guys too. But uh, yeah, it's a weird situation. Every time they've played this year, she has not hit it. That's why this number's at two and a half for what it's at. Normally it would be three and a half for like a little something. Plus one oh five or some shit or then then that sometimes it's like minus one forty, three and a half. But four times she didn't clear it. She played minutes, she shot plenty of shots. Eleven, ten, uh she played, look at it, seventeen percent, ten percent, eighteen percent. That one she only threw up six, but thirty three percent. I mean, shit, all lifetime versus that, not lifetime, but the last two years, she's 18%. So maybe they're fucking telling me something, right? But I'm telling you something. Sabrina's rested. She can shoot that ball. They're playing at home. They lost, They made it to the finals last year and lost. Uh, Minnesota beat them in the Commissioner's Cup. They lost. She's going over two and a half threes. Um, put it in the comments if you think I'm wrong. For the year, she's hit this 58% average in three. She's exceeded two and a half threes in four of the last five games at home, averaging three. What she hit last game? She made five. That's crazy, man. You know, I can't believe it. Like, I picked it. I love it when you, when a plan works out, right? And you talk about something that happens. Foreseeing the future. But yeah, so I could break this down to home games, three days rest. Voila. Three out of five, 60%. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, so I just think I think she's gonna go over it. She's gonna put up enough shots. Uh, they already seen, or if you watch, you seen what she did in that game five versus uh, the Aces. Once they shut her down that one game with her points, and she had like fucking five points, whatever it was, four points. And then uh, she started running off ball, off ball screens and everything else. And still he was bringing the ball up and stuff. So uh, she was just, you know, playing like Curry, running around. Or she would get the ball, run around, and just just like Curry does, get that ball right back, like give him go, and, and just, just bang it on. She was killing it. Uh, but either way, she's two and a half is too low. She's going to go over it. This game means too much. It's too important. They work too hard. Um, Minnesota does have good defense. She's going to free herself up, though, and, and get it. If it was the first game and they weren't playing at home or something, I would say uh, maybe she won't, but she's going over it. Uh, there was a few other uh, plays I liked with her, but just nothing as concrete as this one. You could always play her points. Uh, she's going to go over her points or at least get right to it. But I feel like she's gonna go over it. They're gonna have, they're gonna play the whole game if they have to. She'll play forty minutes, like so. You can tell me she's not hitting three threes in forty minutes. Just shooting ten of them for the year. She shot uh, forty four percent. So, uh, but yeah, you can play your points. Uh, I don't really like her assists. Five and a half. I mean, it's possible she can go over it, but this last couple of games she hasn't, and throughout the year, actually, when it was <laughs> for a while, I was betting under, like all around here, I was betting the unders, and then uh, what's the name came back. Uh, after she came back, I started betting the unders. That's right. But yeah, let's get it, Sabrina Eisen. Uh, Phoebus. 
Liberty's guard, like I was saying earlier, she's tall. Uh, I play her threes over one and a half. Got it. Uh, what do I got? Uh, minus 110 on FanDuel. Now, she was coming off the bench for a while, almost a whole year up until a couple days ago. And uh, she don't go crazy. She only scores seven, eight points, six points sometimes. Uh, shoots mostly threes. Usually she'll get to the foul line uh, a handful of times. Nothing crazy. But uh, threes, four of the last five, she's gone over this. Yeah, four of the last five. Bing, bing, bada, boom. 80%. Shooting uh, last five games, shooting 50% from the field. Three pointers. She got moved to the starting lineup. Uh... One and a half threes in four of the last five games at home, obviously. I just said that. She's playing uh, plenty of minutes now. She hasn't been playing that many the whole year. Uh, we can break it down to the years so you can get a glimpse. Hit it 43% of the time, and look, these are her minutes. You know, the sporadic. Over here, she's playing fucking five, six minutes. So take all them off, that number is shooting way up. But uh, it ain't like she's out there acting a fool. But she, she usually was coming off the bench, end of the first quarter, uh, when they take that first, you know, that first sub, and she, she'd hit one or two right away. And uh, now that she's in the starting lineup, it gives her more time. She's tall. Uh, no one's really going to mess with her shot because she's so tall. I mean, there's a couple tall players and stuff. you got Smith and Collier and shit, but Collier is not going to guard her. And uh, Smith is clumsy. She'll probably end up on the floor. She's going to go over this with two, two threes. Um, I was juggling between her points, but they got her points line at seven and a half, and she shoots mostly threes. Occasionally, she'll throw up some regular shots. Ten. You got it on yeah, they don't you can't check it out as much detail. Uh threes. I mean besides this last game, six, she hit two, four, four. She don't shoot that many, but she hits them. Uh now if I change it to field goals. I mean basically besides that last game. She's basically shooting threes, like four, four, three, four. Watch, four, four, four. A couple more here, but it's it's so sporadic that it's not. The problem I was having too is these last couple games, she's only shot. Uh, this two games in a row, and she only had six points. But she hit her threes. I mean, yeah, mind you, she did have 11 points last game. And she only hit one three. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm right. I was juggling between... That's the threes. But, uh, yeah, that's what I went with. So, if you could, like the video. Uh, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. Uh, still ain't heard no word from my mother or my mother-in-law. It's crazy, man. That flooding is crazy. And, uh, you know. <sighs> Send some prayers for me, people. Um, mother jump on an NFL video. East Money, the name getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.